So a lot of recent Minecraft updates have been quite poorly received by the community. And after some time of trying to figure out why this has been the case, I think I now know. So for this video I tried to look at why people liked the updates that they did and why they disliked the ones they did. And with that, I came up with a few different reasons that I'll be talking about in this video. So now let's get into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is that a lot of the recent Minecraft updates, especially with, for example, Trails and Tales, have focused a lot on decorative and quality of life features. And these are great to have, but with these the developers haven't been focusing as much on a lot of other features that people want. Because a lot of things in recent Minecraft updates have just been decorative. And from what I can tell, people seem to like having functional things in Minecraft. Like, the Nether update brought plenty of new functional items and blocks to the game, and of course people loved that update for the most part. Things like Netherite, the Lodestone, and Striders were all great additions to the game. Meanwhile, if you look at updates like Trails and Tales in the Wild update, a lot of the things that got added in those didn't really serve a function. The recovery compass was not very useful to most players and archaeology isn't very rewarding for the time that the player actually has to invest in it, because most of the items that you get from archaeology are just decorative, like the armor trims and pottery sherds. So it seems like we need more useful items in Minecraft, and that leads directly into the next subject I want to talk about, and that is the combat and RPG side of Minecraft. Or, more specifically, how this part of the game that a lot of people enjoy has kind of been neglected a bit recently. The wild update in Trails and Tales almost completely ignored this part of the game, actually. And Caves and Cliffs partly did as well. However, the Nether update and Village and Pillage update did expand somewhat on this side of the game. These updates added new enemies to fight, structures to loot, and basically a whole new tier of progression with netherite. And here is where you start to see a bit of a pattern. The updates like the nether update and village and pillage update that expanded more on the RPG side of the game were quite well received by the community. Meanwhile, the updates that just focused more on quality of life and decorative features were more disliked by the community. I mean, the last new update that we received a new mob that you're actually meant to fight in is the nether update, with the hoglins and piglin brutes. And I don't count the warden because it was said by the developers that you're more just supposed to run from the warden and not fight it. Now there is good news, and that's that Mojang seems to have become at least somewhat aware of this as of lately seeing as the 1.21 update is meant to focus on combat and tinkering, and we already now have two new hostile mobs and snapshots for that update, those being the Breeze and just recently the Bogged as well. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is a little bit of a smaller problem, and that is mob drops. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but the last time we had a unique drop from a mob was the aquatic update with the trident from the drowned. And since the nether update, Mojang has been terrible about giving good drops to mobs. Though, in the snapshots for the 1.21 update, the breeze does now have a unique drop in the form of the wind charge. And it's actually a pretty cool new item. So again, it appears as if Mojang is starting to realize what the community actually wants from Minecraft updates. And the next thing I'm going to talk about here is a much more niche type of feature. And that's actually overworld surface structures. Now, I know that sounds weird, but if you think about it, we haven't actually gotten a new overworld surface structure since the nether update with the ruined portal. Unless you count the trail ruins from the Trails and Tales update, but I don't because they're mostly underground. 
the next thing I'm going to talk about here is, in my opinion, at least much more important than a lot of the other things I've talked about today. And this isn't actually about the features of updates, it's more about the way Mojang goes about deciding what to add to updates. So, the old updates that a lot of people liked, like the Aquatic update, the Village and Pillage update, and the Nether update, all focused on specific areas of the game. And what I mean by that is, with each of these updates, you could look at them and see that they updated a specific area within the game. For example, with the Nether update, you could look at it and go, Oh, this update focused on updating the Nether. The Aquatic update focused on updating the oceans. And the Village and Pillage update focused on updating the villages and the illagers. And also, the Caves and Cliffs update was meant to update the caves and the mountains though it ended up getting split into multiple parts. And the thing is, is that it's a lot harder to say that for the more recent Minecraft updates, like the Wild Update and Trails and Tales. You can't really find a large area that those updates focused on. Rather, they were more focused on adding updates for certain aspects of the game instead of areas. Especially just recently with the Trails and Tales update that was basically just focused on the aspects of storytelling and exploration. Now, focusing on aspects of the game isn't a terrible thing, but it does have at least one problem. And that was made quite evident in the Trails and Tales update. A lot of the features were just scattered and all over the place, seeming to have little to nothing to do with each other. And I think that's a large part of the reason why the community disliked the Trails and Tales update as much as it did. And it seems like this might end up being a problem again with the 1.21 update. Because while it's good that Mojang is focusing on combat and tinkering since those have been neglected a bit recently, there still is the problem that that's not focusing on an actual area within the game. So, the question I'm going to ask you is, if you looked at all of the features of 1.21 so far, and you didn't know that was an update focused on combat and tinkering, what would you think the theme of the update is meant to be? Personally, I would probably say dungeon update, maybe cave update, since the trial chambers are deep within caves. But, if I did this with the Trails and Tales update, I would probably have no idea, honestly. Now, finally, the last point that I'm going to bring up here is essential features within updates. So, updates like the Nether update had features such as Netherite, where once you play Minecraft with them for a while, it's much more difficult to play the game without them. Like, imagine if the Nether just reverted to the old version before the Nether update. For a lot of people, that would probably feel terrible. But, if we went without the Trails and Tales update, it wouldn't be that big of a deal to me personally. Of course, this can be different from player to player, though. It kind of depends on what side of the game you enjoy more. The combat, or the creative side. And, what I'll bring up here is that, for the creative side of Minecraft, there have been already plenty of updates with new decorative blocks and items. So much so that Minecraft is a great game for building and creativity, but right now it's very lacking in the combat and RPG side. I mean, it's been so many years since we got a new boss in the game at all. And so that combat and RPG side of Minecraft just feels very incomplete right now. And so that'll just about do it for today's video. I appreciate it greatly if you leave your thoughts about this in the comments below, and it helps me a lot if you like and subscribe. Now, before I go, if you want Minecraft updates to have more content in them, I'd recommend watching the video appearing on the end screen. Those of you who made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and with that, goodbye.